Welcome to the course introduction of Microsoft Windows Server 2008, Administration Part 1. My name is Michael Kraut. I'm with Idea Dudes. Windows and Windows Server are registered trademarks of Microsoft Corporation. In this course, what you're going to look at is planning, installing, and upgrading, deploying Windows Server 2008. We're going to be looking at things such as WDS, Windows Deployment Services. We're going to look at the infrastructure of the WIM file. We're also going to use the SIM, which is a system image manager. We're also going to look at Windows Automation Installation Kit. We're going to talk about the full installation, also the core installation. Planning network connectivity. We're going to be looking at IP version 6 versus IP version 4. Again, this is planning. We're going to be looking at how do we plan for going over to IP version 6. We're going to look at the limitations of what has gone on with IP version 4. Why are we learning, running out of IP addresses for IP version 4? Planning Active Directory and Group Policy. Now, Group Policy is one of the utilities that's going to help us to standardize our environment. Now, by standardizing the environment, this is also going to help us to lower our total cost of ownership. So, looking at planning of Active Directory, we're going to look at some of the new features such as the remote the uh, read-only domain controller. Also, the PSOs, which are the fine-grained password policies and account policies. We'll also look at the DSA main, which is the database mi migration tool, man mining tool, which will allow us to be able to bring back objects from Active Directory that have been tombstoned. We'll look at application servers, which is going to be your web server, and how we implementation of .NET framework. When we install the application server, .NET Framework 3.0 is going to be put on, where Windows Server 2008 by default is 2.0. We'll be looking at some of the different features that are added by putting on the application servers. And then planning terminal services and application and server virtualization. Terminal services is one of the utilities or one of the servers that is being implemented throughout a lot of organizations. What it allows us to do is be able to centralize our application deployment, making it easier, more cost effective to up those, update those applications. And then we have the application and server virtualization, server virtualizations through Hyper-V. We have application virtualization, which is going to be through Microsoft Application Virtualization, which is a replacement for SoftGrid. So these are the things that we're going to learn. We're going to learn about the planning and the deployment of Windows Server 2008. We're going to be looking at the XML file, which is the Auto 10 XML file, that we're going to configure with the SIM, the System as Image Manager. We're also going to look at the different ways of deploying Windows Server 2008 through a network share using a Pixie. We can make it so we can automate it through SCCM, which is a System Configuration Manager 2007. We're also going to look at IP version 4 and IP version 6. We're going to look at some of the transition technologies such as ISOTAP, uh, 6 to 4, Teredo, and how we have the dual stack between IP version 4 and IP version 6. So we can communicate on each one or each at one at a time or both of them at the same time. We're also looking at planning the implementation of Active Directory, some of the new features such as the read-only domain controller, looking at the new changes to the group policy. Planning the deployment of applications and application servers. So this is going to look at the application server framework, which allows us to be able to implement .NET 3.0 on our Windows Server 2008, and also our web servers. Planning terminal services, application, and service, server virtualization. We'll be looking at Hyper-V. We'll be looking at terminal server, looking at the different types of licensing that we have, TS, uh, CALs, the client access licenses for the device and also for the user. And also we'll be looking at the application virtualization, Microsoft application virtualization, which is a replacement for server soft grid. And also we'll be looking at monitoring and managing a network infrastructure. So we'll be looking at the performance monitor, the Windows resource manager, and see how we can use this to help to increase the overall throughput of our network. So looking at the course prerequisites, 
You should have common knowledge of internet technologies such as DNS, DHCP, Windows Server 2008 configuring network infrastructure parts one and two. You should have taken also Windows Server 2008 configuring parts one and two. Now the exam that this is going to uh, also look at 70-640, 42, and 43 exams are the ones that you should have taken. So let's take a look at each of the different modules that we're going to be going over. So the first module we're going to look at planning Windows 2008 installation and upgrade. That's going to be dealing with Windows deployment services, Windows automation and installation kit, the uh, auto attend XML file, looking at the Pixie environment, the Windows PE. We have automating the server deployment and when we're automating the server deployment, we're going to bring in Windows deployment services with conjunction with SCCM 2007 so we can have a zero touch environment. Now SCCM 2007 is a system center configuration manager and so what it allows us to do is be able to provide the uh, infrastructure to be able to automate the whole installation through WDS because it uses in con conjunction with SCCM 2007. Using IP version 6 in a Windows Server 2008, we're going to discuss the differences between IP version 4 and IP version 6. IP version 6 is 128 bits, allows us to be able to have an IP address for any living organism on the earth. So we're going to look at the transition strategies also, and that's going to be in the next module with implementing IP version 4 to IP version 6 connectivity, such as things with ISOTAP, we'll be looking at Teredo, uh, 6 to 4, look at the different transition technologies that we can use. Then we'll talk about configuring DNS. Look at the difference between Windows Server 2003 and 2008. Some of the things that are going to be different, example would be background loading, zone loading, also global name zone. We're going to be covering all this information and more. And then Windows Server 2008 Active Directory, we're going to look at the, the new infrastructure such as read-only domain controllers. Look at the functional levels. What are the different functional levels that are going to be associated with Active Directory? Like Windows Server 2008 functional level, domain functional level will allow us to be able to implement PSOs, which are password fine-grained password policies that we can implement on users and groups. We'll be talking about shadow groups also during this discussion. Then we're going to go into group policy in Windows Server 2008, look at some of the new group policies, also some of the new uh, group policy infrastructures such as ADM, ADMX, which are XML files instead of the ADM files that were hard to uh, implement in the previous version. Allows us to be able to go in, we can create our own with XML, and XML is, uh, has the ability of making changes to it with a regular text editor such as Notepad. We'll also be implementing, talking about implementing the central store. Now the application server is one of the other things that we're going to look at. The application server allows us to be able to implement a web server. So applications also like Exchange Server, SharePoint. We're going to talk about the WCF, the Windows Communications Foundation. And we'll be looking at some of the other things that are associated with the application server. Application deployment deals with going through SCCM, also implementing the application through uh, group policy, talking about the Windows installer 4.0, how we have resilient type applications. Terminal servers. We'll be talking about different settings with the terminal services like TS Remote App, TS Cap, TS Wrap, which is used with TS Gateway. We'll also be looking at the TS Web Access which allows us to be able to have TS Remote App so we can virtualize our applications. We'll talk about the licensing, what are the TS CALs for user and device CALs. Server application and virtualization, we'll be looking at Hyper-V. And in the demo, I will be demoing the uh, Hyper-V and how we can set up a, a Hyper-V server and implement a new virtual machine. We'll also be looking at the virtualization of applications, which is Microsoft application virtualization, which is a replacement for SoftGrid. Also, TS Remote App. 
So looking at the curriculum path, this is Microsoft Windows Server 2008 Administration Part 1. You'll have Part 2 and this will get you ready for the 70-646. You got to remember that this is not a break and fix type of course where you go in and you implement and it teaches you how to implement. This, imp this course teaches you how to plan for the implementation of a Windows Server 2008 environment. And this also gets you the MCITP Server Administrator with along with the passing the 70-640 and 42 exams. If you have questions or comments, you can put them in a go-go box at the bottom of the video. Let's get started.